If you've watched enough movies or played enough video games, you must have seen this. A stun grenade that can stun you and your enemy with a flash and a bang. First, we're going to briefly talk about the design and how it works. Second, we're going to discuss whether we can survive a stun grenade by closing our eyes and covering about ears. So a stun grenade mini consists of two parts. Outside, we have the cast steel body with small holes in it. Inside, we have the aluminium case with magnesium-based chemicals that will do all the magic. As you remove the safety pin and throw the stun grenade, what happens is the magnesium-based chemicals will undergo chemical reactions to produce light, heat, sound, and smoke. But unlike a frag grenade that will shatter into pieces, which is what makes it deadly, the steel case of the stun grenade will not break and will only let the immense light and sound out through the small holes on the surface. This contains most of the explosive force and prevents fragmentation that will make it a lethal weapon. So what the bright light and loud noise do is to temporarily blind and deafen you. As the flashbang goes off, the bright light will suddenly activate all the photoreceptor cells in your eyes and cause you to see nothing but bright white for a few seconds. Even when you regain your vision, you can no longer take aim and shoot anymore. That is because the blinding flash will cause you to have an often image that looks like this. If you want to know what it feels like, just flash yourself with a light and then look at the wall. The dim image you continue to see is the after image. Now you may wonder why we can't see such effect in the real life videos. It is always just one flash and that's it. Well, the answer lies in the difference between the image sensor of our camera and the sensory cells in our eyes. But anyway, now we know what's up with the flash, it is time to talk about the bang. The insanely loud noise that can not only cause temporary hearing loss, but also ear ringing and a loss of balance. That is because the high intensity sound not only damages our cochlear, but also creates shock waves that disturb the fluids in our semicircular canals, the parts of the inner ears we use for balance. Although covering our ears do help minimize the impact, it doesn't actually help much if we're in an enclosed space because the sound will be trapped inside and cannot be dissipated in the open air. The same also applies to flashlight. Although closing our eyes is better than doing nothing, just our eyelids cannot keep out the bright light. Turning around and looking away also won't work if we're indoors because the walls will basically reflect all the light. The situation is even worse if we're in a dark room where our pupils are dilated and more light can go in. So after all, is there anything we can do to protect ourselves from stun grenades? Well actually, no. If you're indoors, there's basically nothing you can do other than trying to take cover. But if you're outdoors, you may still try to close your eyes, turn away, and cover your ears. They do help a little bit. But it also depends on how close you are to a stun grenade and how skillful is your enemy. Because if they're not well trained, 